Ayan sa Dipolog. Live kita, nananuka din sa atong official venue, ang Camila Hotel 1, second floor, nindak bayan sa Dipolog. Nagan kayong salamat sa mga taga Camila Hotel 1 na kanunay nga nag-alagad ka nato, kanunay nga nag-supportar, kanunay nag-accommodate ka nato din he, sa atong kapihan sa Dipolog, matag Domingo nga tanan. Ang kapihan sa Dipolog, makikauban ka ninyo Sugod sa alas 9 sa buntag, nga na sa alas 11 sa kabuntagon. Ang takna sa kabuntagon, matag Domingo nga tanan. It's a beautiful Sunday morning here in the Polog City. Init kayong adlaw. It's already June 11, 2017. Dayon ugma puhon, Independence Day sa atong nasod na Pilipinas. So happy Independence Day to all the Filipinos. Nga ni ana ni mo sa ato ang nasod nga Pilipinas og ingon man sa tibuok kalibutan kay bisag asa ang Pinoy ana adyod sa tibuok kalibutan name the country nga adyo Pinoy diha so happy happy independence day kanatong tanan nga mga Pinoy o Pinoy <laughs> di ba tax di ba silver So, mao na nga atong i-greet ang atong kaugalingon tungod kay ug wala kitay freedom, wala kitay kagawasan, uh, wala pud tay di pud ta mulambo kitang tanan. So, we owe it to our heroes, no? Ato mga nasudlong bayani, Dr. Jose Rizal, silang Andres Bonifacio, silang General Luna, silang kinsa pa to daghan kayo, no? Tungod kay nagbuhi sila dugo para og kinabuhi para kita mahimong gawas nun. So, manay essence sa atong Independence Day, Happy Independence Day to all of us. And of course, din ato kalimtan sa kanunay ang atong labaw nga makagagahong, nga may naghatag na to, oh, kinabuhi, gasa sa kinabuhi, para makauban na to sa kanunay ato mga minahas usab sa kinabuhi, sa ato mga pamilya, ato mga kahigalaan, nga may naghatag na itong oportunidad ang labaw nga makagagahong nga Haron kita magkauban karon sa kapihan sa Dipolog o ingon man sa ato mga tagsa-tagsa ka mga kimbuhaton sa ato mga tagsa-tagsa ka kinabuhi. To God be all the glory ato kanang kanunay nga pasalamatan ang atong labaw nga makagagahom si Ginoong Hesus Kristo pinaagi usab sa iya ni Mama Mary. So, kini si Edith tahin dito mo ang inyong regular anchor and host sa kapihan sa Dipolog makikauban na usab ninyo sa duha katak na nga tulumanon. The only public affairs program in the Polog City, the Pitan City, and the entire province of Sabuanga del Norte. Independent, balanced, fair, and kanunay kitang responsible sa ato ang pagka-media sa dini sa atong laluigan sa Sabuanga del Norte. So, maupay pag-abot sa atong kinakusgan room na bisita, atong i-acknowledge ni Ron kay Ator ba ni Pabangkaho nung paniot to? Pites ko no, may pag-abot ako. Okay, so thank you so much. Atong ikamingawan karang, atong maling dabu-dabuhan o niya o pangutan ha. So, atong ipaabot, atong mga panelist din ni Karumbutaga, kaya ato ang instant na panelist na guest, Karumbutaga, ano yan naman, nakalikot sir. So, paabot na to, kung makahiga yun no, kaya I know they are very, very busy. Kaya mga, kuhan mga kainan sila no, kaya nga ang naasa limelight, so to speak. Okay, so si Attorney Robin Ligorio, si Board Member Ronilio Boyli, si Mr. Robert Pinsoy, si Mr. Pons Roda sa PIA, tapos si Edgar Saranda. Kinsa pa'y wala na ko hinganli. Kaya ano yung ama itong guest na panelist na undersecretary sa National Anti-Poverty Commission, Karang Buntaga. Ikaw ba na ito? Tawad-tawad po na ito, wala makauban kay BC, kay Skauluhan tungod sa iyang posisyon pagka undersecretary sa National Anti-Poverty Commission. So, salamat kayo ng atong Silver Tabiate Kodumbiano, ang atong IT Director na may nagdala kanuna is kinabuhi sa ito ang kapihan sa Dipolog. Ilabi na sa live streaming www.imdipolog.tv.com Posted kita sa Facebook o uploaded kita sa YouTube. Click lang, kapihan sa Dipolog sa YouTube. Matag si Mana. Tapos nalihatan na na itong mga guests sa atong kapihan sa Dipolog Tanan na edition sa atong kapihan sa Dipolog the whole year round. Thank you so much, Silbert Adriatico Dundiano. Dagi salamat po sa mga tukang tax ilumba na niya kanunay gid na ito ngay kauban matang Domingo sa Imotonius Broadcast, pinagi sa DXTI 981 AM 
sa inyong mga radio dial o ginagawa sa 94.1 IFM sa inyong radio dial. Pinagi sa Radio Mindanao Network. Ako pa salamatan di ay si Station Manager Edgar Dagoma, silang Reggie Munera, silang Danny Lord, Marty Libres, dayon si Elaine Diha nga nag-abi-abi na to sa Thanksgiving and Blessing. Kani atong Biyernes, no? June 9 sa Radio Mindanao Network RMND XDR Broadcast Center bago na building edifisyo nga uh, nagpahigayon ng misa of course uh, dapat lang yun nga na ay misa pasalamat sa ginoo dahil doon ay program hamabong nga program o doon ay mga uh, mga bisita nga nakisaya nila no? naki naki unsa na naki tambayayong o Nag naglingaw-lingaw pa uban dito sa RMN DXDR management and staff. Thank you so much, station manager at Guy Dagumo sa inyo ang makabuyong nga mga pagkaon dunay mga uh, pruta sama sa nangka, dunay pinya, dunay saging, tapos dunay mga sweets, dunay cake, dunay lechon, dunay uh, kinasun. Basta nabuyong kong kinaon dito sa dunay ice cream. No, sa Thanksgiving o blessing sa bago ng edipisyo sa Radio Mindanao Network, BXDI o IFM. To God be all the glory ng hapon. And then, uh, last June 6, ika 65 founding anniversary na to sa Lawigan sa Buwanga del Norte. Dayon, nona nga, marilate na to sa atong Independence Day dayon celebration of Mang Adlawa. It's a holiday, non-working holiday. So, uh, ato pasalamatan ang ato mga sponsors na may nagdala o sabog kinabuhi sa itong kapihan sa Dipolog Matang Domingo ng nga tanan. And they are the following, Attorney Senen Alvis Angeles, Vice Governor sa Sambuanga del Norte, Presiding Officer sa Sanggurihang Panalawigan sa Sambuanga del Norte. Attorney Junior C. Mapikit, Presiding Officer Pro Tempoy sa Sanggurihang Panalawigan sa Sambuanga del Norte, Former Congressman and now Under Secretary, sa National Anti-Poverty Commission na may bisita karong butaga si Attorney Rosilier Mato Barinaga sa Huay Paglubad Mulubad pang sing-sing sa Kuan Dili si Sir Mato Barinaga Mag-usap 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 sa mga siya karon Nagkabagit sila Murag Murag Kuan kayo siya Active na kayo sa tanan na samot karon Oh, nakatik ko sir Oh, dengan selamat na to sa Isalex Bar and Grill Kamayan Food Trip Ideal for family and barkada outdoor gathering. Mau kini ang formerly Batchoyan ni Bitoy. Kani isa Lex Bar and Grill. Uh, Nangaligya sa mainit kayo nga uh, nilatang kabaw. Doon na sila balbakwa. Doon ay pork and chicken barbecue. Doon ay special batchoy o cold cold drinks. Doon libre ang video key. Libre po ang wifi. Basta maat po ka dito sa isa Lex Bar and Grill for meetings, anniversaries, and birthdays. Ano ang mayotang sa Martini Street ng Dakbayan sa Dupolog o Gipanagyan o Gidumala ni Mr. and Mrs. Ray and Wyatt Akas. Nagsasalamat na ito ka ito ni Junal Sina Piquet at ang lawyer at notary public of uh, City Councilor sa Dakbayan sa Dupolog. Nga ito ka Mr. Henry Pichonero, Labor Attaché 1 sa Department of Labor and Employment, Palo, Hong Kong. Nagkasalamat na ito kang Mr. Muhammad Hassan Adjo, Provincial Agrarian Reform Program Officer 2 sa Department of Agrarian Reform, Santa Isabel, Dipolong City. Nagkasalamat na ito kang sa JJ and P Fruit Nursery and Lumberyard, uh, na manigya sa klase-klase ng uh, fruit seedlings sa barato lamang ng presyo. Doon na po sila limited edition na Coco Lumber kay Moratorio Mangon sa pagputor sa mga coconuts. So, ano nga lang kamo sa Barangay Lingasa at sa Lungsod, sa Pulangko, sa Buwanga del Norte, huwag nga man ang branch nila sa JJ and P. Foot uh, Lumberyard na sa Barangay Galas ng Dapawan sa Dipolog. Di panagyahan o gibumala ni Mr. and Mrs. Porterio ni Cesario. Nagsasalamat na ito sa Chinese Marketing na baligyan sa mga spare parts sa Isuzu, Masda, Hyundai, Suzuki, Uguanta na sabos lamang na presyo. Ang Janus Marketing, mahimutan sa Quezon Avenue niyo, ng Dakbayan sa Dipolog, di panagyan o gidumala ni Kansi, Kanhi Konsinyal o Kanhi Mimputat Barangay Chairman Janus Yu, matawag sa telephone number 2121148. Nagkasalamat nga ito kami, Sis Milagros Agustin, happy tanong siya mo ulit 
sa Chicago, Illinois USA, Bagong salamat nga po ka Roger William and Jennifer King sa umakang po Northern Ireland. Bagong salamat nga po kang Councilor Alemano Bidag Pin, City Councilor sa Dakbayan sa Dapitan, Dili na ito makauban ni si Panili sa Kapayan sa Dipolog kay nagmasteral klase ang matag Domingo ng Atanan. O ato ra siya pa sa Iloon kay sunod po ng mahuman niyang klase mo apil ra yakon siya sa itong Kapihan sa Dipolog. Nagsang salamat na ito kang Congresswoman Glenna G. Labad-Labad. Nagpungasi ang mga proyekto niya na ipang turnover sa mga kabaranggayan sa segundo distrito ng Galawigan sa Sambuanga del Norte. Member House of Representatives si Congresswoman Luna G. Labad-Labad sa 2nd District ni Lalawigan sa Sambuanga del Norte. Dagang salamat po sa mga po sa National Grid Corporation of the Philippines. Kung ang NGCP, pinag Elizabeth Ladaga, Regional Cor Corporate Public Affairs Communication Officer na nagabasi sa Iligan City, na nag-ingon, dili matanong o mga kahoy, dili mo itoko, doon mo isang unsa, mga infrastruktura, Hagoon o gilawang sa transmission line sa NGCP, aron mahalikay kita sa disgrasya o dili usap kita mapagnan o kuryente. Dayon ang proyekto sa NGCP nga 138 KV line transmission project na nagalagpas sa lungsod sa Pulanco, Pinyan o Serio, Osmenia, hapit na gayon kini inaugurahan matapos o mahatag na kadiguga nga supply sa kuryente sa Laluigan sa Sambuanga del Norte dili na kita mag-suffer of low voltage. Kaya in advance information, next Sunday, June 18, makauba na to ang taga-NGCP silang Miss Elizabeth Ladaga sa Kapihan sa Dipolog. Thank you so much. Nga to kang board member Romilio Boyle, panilis sa Kapihan sa Dipolog. Nga to ka ato ni Ruben Biligorio, Dipolog City Councilor, panilis sa Kapihan sa Dipolog. O nga to ka Mayor Evan Hope Boyet Olvis, Municipal Mayor sa Lungsod sa Pulanco, sa Buanga del Norte, Daghan usab ng kalambuan karon sa lungsod sa Pulanco. Pinaagi ka Mayor Evan Hope Boyet Olvis. O nga to kang Vice Mayor Alfredo Bayot Eat, bagang kayo salamat, presiding officer, sa nundi ang bayan sa lungsod sa Pulanco, sa Buanga del Norte. Bagang salamat na ito kang Engineer Gilbert Cruz sa Petra Cement Incorporated na himutang sa Lower Erasan, Lungsod sa Rojas, sa Buanga del Norte. Next month, sa July, uh, mahimang bisita na ito si Engineer Gilbert Cruz para mag-isgot kita sa update sa itatoko diha nga planta sa Petra Cement diha sa Lungsod sa Rojas. Thank you so much nga ito sa Pilja Credit and Lending Services Incorporated. Pilja Credit and Lending Services Incorporated is a supplier of school and office supplies, computer accessories and ink with free delivery with the minimum purchase of 500 pesos only within the Polog City proper. It also accepts real estate and shuttle mortgage with low interest rate. Ang Pilja also offers office space for rent with low monthly rental. Pilja is situated at Calibo and General Luna Streets, Central Barangay, Dipolog City. Pilja Credit and Lending Services Incorporated is managed by Tadawad Maloni Letran of Barangay Barra, Dipolog City, and of course, ni uh, Sumi Dumas. Thank you so much nga po sa ato ang A legal consultant na si Atty. Crescencio Talpagan Jr. na wala na ito makauban last Sunday kaya nakalarga o kalit sa Manila. Kauban ang taan na ito pagka-guest dili si Chad Skenet Pirusan last Sunday kaya nag-iskot man kita ato o martial law in Mindanao, warantless arrest o ingin man dahil sa the suspension of the rate of habeas corpus dili sa isla sa Mindanao. O karoon at i-acknowledge ang paghabot din sa ato ang panelist pero karoon guest siya na ito, special speaker sa ato ang kapihan si Lutolo. Uh, busy tayo yung live dito sa kauluhan tungod sa iya ang posisyon sa gobyerno ng gihutan karoon panahon So, we like to acknowledge, thank you for coming, under Secretary Atene Rosilier Matoy Barinaga sa National Anti-Poverty Commission. Welcome back to kapihan sa Lutolo. Ah, dahil salamat dito. Actually, ni Simpo Simpo, o sa itong namati ka ron, o katong umalabot na itong mga guests o mga panelists, no? Mayang bunta ka na itong tanan ng Happy Sunday. Inaot nga, kina itong kukabido ka ron, makahatag na po kami ang informasyon, 
of what is going on in our country, no? Lagi na yung mabuto itong education. Eh, teka mo, tag mo nga, issues ba sa education. So, pinagay ni Dick, takatagat ka nila for procurement time. Uh, pwede na po tamang, kagabing dito man. No, thank you. Okay, sir. Dili kayo po namin time. Ikaw yung dabudabuhan ng korupa mong tana. <laughs> Yung tayo apang na to kay uh, bahin sa comprehensive uh, tax reform measures, no? Karoon ni uh, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, kanang ilang ingon nga Duter Duterte na mix, no? Uh, okay. Itaya po na sa education because ang anti-poverty programs, no? Na nagapunting nga to sa maayo nga edukasyon. Kay without education, we cannot progress as a nation, di ba? So, kinahanglan na itong mga uh, katawan, itong mga labi sa mga kabataan, na makabatong gayon maayong edukasyon para mulambo kita isip katilingban. So, this is where the anti-poverty programs of the government also will come in, no? So, munang na-abid na ito, Dr. Karon si Yosef Matoy Barinaga. But first things first, kay wala pa man doon si Ma'am Nati Bayubay, ang ato ang Provincial Schools Division Superintendent sa DepEd, o si Ma'am Lor Makukulan, ang assistant uh, ni Beg of siya, kay doon na siya kalit nga larga sa Cagayan de Oro City. No? So, okay lang. Dahil, ato ang quiz ko tan, sir, kay hindi nga magkabahin sa tax measures, no? Puhon nga implement sa atong presidente. Agad, Dani, uh, nagkuha dyo ko aning Manila Bulletin, na issue June 7, 2017, page B5. Na ang headline doon ay, First Tax Reform to Yield 1.16 trillion pesos in 5 years according to the Department of Finance. And then, na doon ay, akong basahon, i-quote na ko doon, from the Manila Bulletin. Last week, the House of Representatives passed on third and final reading President Rodrigo Duterte's first of the five tax reform package packages to boost the administration's efforts to rebuild the country's infrastructure. So, five mission of na koan kada na ang lima ka butang tatang tranche, no? So, first na reform package at sa mga bahin sa unya. Makahapag mo ni Kaayuhan, sir, sa mga minimum wage earners, kay naman mga exemption, tapila man to per head of the family. So, o mo, mga papatuna na ni, mahina ng balaod ng tax reform measures ni President Duterte, makahapag ba ni o kaginhawaan sa ato mga minimum wage earners na dako-dako ang Uh, taxes, buhis, nga divide sa gobyerno, dahil what will happen to the value-added taxes po? Ma, ato ba, ma, ma, ma increase ba po ni? Ipa-increase ba po ni sa gobyerno para mabawi itong to ang uh, uh, mga exemptions na i, i, sana, mapadaka, mapadakan ang exemptions sa ato mga wage earners, earners, labi na sa gobyerno kay mga fixed income earners ng mga sasar. Ah, uh, dahil salamat dot na no? kani ang uh, gibantayan sa atong kwan sa ehensya sa National Anti-Poverty Commission. Mao lang og dena bay welcome na to si Edgar sa ronda. No? <laughs> uh, <laughs> ah, og dena bay mga provisions which will amount to anti uh, poor. Uh, Mora na tong gibantayan kay Uh, kaya yung taxes ko, uh, we are not the position. May tatag na itong congressman, labi na, no? o uh, sa BIR, o itong mga sector with our nga, who knows more about this, no? Ang uh, ato, kanara itong liban tayo. Na karoon, uh, kaya yung gitawag nila o train, yung mga lagang, tax reform for acceleration and incentive. So, ipasar na na sa, sa atong nahibalan, uh, napasar na sa sa House of Representatives. Uh, lower House. Okay, Lower House. But, Uh, sa Senado, murag wala pa. No? So, wala pa. So, in fact, there were, nakakuha ko sa email to mga proposed uh, exemptions, anong tanong-tanong, etc., etc. Ang inyong pumunta na, pero mag-ayaw ba sa itong mga wage earners o sa itong uh, okay, mga pot, no? Sa pot. Okay. Uh, Mato pa sa provision, yung atong nabasa, pakiling, if you are, if you earn 250,000 a year, no? 250 to 50. Below, you are exempt from paying your income tax. 
no, when I gave him the income tax, no? You know. So total exemption, uh, sir. Oh, total exemption, okay. uh, exemption. So what you do is you divide him more than 250,000 by 12, no? Uh, 12 months. 12 months a monthly year. income, you know, no? Okay. And then go further, income minimum monthly divided to 30, which is 30 days, that will be your daily, your daily uh, earn, earning, no? Or whatever it is, whether minimum wage or what, whatever, no? So, mo nang basanti nga lang nato, o naka may report na uh, will be tax exempt, no? And then you compare it with the present uh, system, o kung gano ba'y ka, gano ba'y alugi o wala ba? No? So, mo na nga itong gano'y tanaw, uh, mura o uh, doon ay ako nakita nga the 250,000 uh, should be uh, increased should be increased because the 250,000 according to ako nabasa refers on to the minimum wage no? but uh, minimum wage is not enough uh, what is needed is the living wage no? living wage kaya doon ako tugain ngon na ako nga the Constitution does not even talk about minimum wage, but it talks about living wage. In so my comparison, the living wage yes, is uh, minimum wage, wage. living wage. Oh, so minimum wage, mura magibasihan ng manimu ang food need, no, and uh, other incidents, no. Pero sa living wage, mo base ka sa kanang kita wag ng survey of price, family income, and expenditure survey, no. So, dahil ka yung mga components. Gawa sa imong food needs, sa imong shelter, tanan. You are even entitled to your leisure, no? So, ito pa, the family should enjoy at least in one month. Nga li, kaduhang ka itong sini, nga ka sini, nga kay outing, nga kay savings, etc., etc., etc. So, that should be the basis ka, no? So, it will run up to 300,000 plus. So, muna ilang study. Of course, since this is passed by by the lower house, napaman sa Senado, and then after it will have a bicam. So, tingali, maapas po na nila, eh, tanaw po tingali sa itong mga uh, economic managers, nga, nga, for the report, so, okay, report, no? Kaya, ang ato ko din is, you have the, the present uh, tax, no? Okay. So, if you don't even compare sa kaming tax reform, asa may dagang ma, makuha ni mo, makumpra sa gobyerno. Oh, present tax o kaming uh, kaming proposed. Now, huwag daghang atong makuha ang taxes sa uh, the future, sa ito pa, daghang po nga, may go, <laughs> may English po nyo. You cannot think of can something out of nowhere, di ba? Okay. So, mga natin nga lipo ng estudyohan. Pero, on that basis nga, maka earn, the government will earn more on the tax reform, kinsa po may go. Uh, I mean, you know, who will be burden? Ano ba burden? Is it the middle class below or will it be the mga corporation yung mga anak? Kaya o, mataxes o dato ang mga dato, di ba kaya mga problem yung mga kaya, ang gusto yung magkuha sa mga dato, yung hamatag mo na ito sa middle class, kita ba? Mabulahan mo ba na, di ba? So, infrastructure projects, mga social programs. Pero o, tanaw na ito, maigot man ito ang mga dagkong kumpanya, pero kita po, maigot po ba kaya, ha? Maigot po ba? So, kung sa may, kung sa may itong kwerta ang gana, So, muna nga mong sulod pa di hana nga. Ang atong hinsa is only concerned on anything that is anti-poor, no? Uh, we should expose and make policies and recommendations that uh, we should alleviate the poor. Kaya mo muna ito, pa, uh, poverty reduction. So, muna ang effect to. Ito doon ha, kining sabat, no? Uh, Kaya rin nga saan ito. Kining what, uh, if, if, you are uh, earning kaming minimum sub ka subject to VAT no? when you buy it from establishments nga mura of who has capitalization of less than 3, 3 million no? so, wato ka kita sa Rosario store, then you are poor wala kay, wala kay VAT ana, wala kay VAT but even if you are poor, then you go to establishments like kaming mga pagkaon nga uh, franchise, yun na uh, doon na nevat. So, affected po ka. No? So, it is establishment uh, that we will call whether you are what exempted or not. Bisan pa, o, oh, gili ka po, matuka ng mga 
Kwan what exam ka basta di capitalization is three million dollar mao na itong na mao na itong na kuha ah we have pangadona bita ang title at di are di ayar na to do na itong Christmas so kung sa itong ipong sulti can be verified no ah makuha yun na itong gusto yung meaning aron nga itong mga publiko makakuha yun sa itong sitwasyon kasi itong mga sulti kataroon di sa itong newspaper sa mga seminar ah What will you know in the implementation it may not be true. Correct. So, these are two more or less ang atong makuha bahin sa taxi. Kung probanin, isa ba ganing sabat? I was thinking, okay? Sari-sari store ka, di ba? We have less than 3 million capitalization. Palit ka sa imong source. What did that, di ba? Yes, sir. Ah, okay. Ato sing welcome, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Once, ah, before we proceed, no, kay na nabut na tong guest for isa o kada panelist. Ato yung knowledge. Ato yung knowledge pag yabot ni Edgar Saranda, and then, oh, and then of course si Pons Roda sa Philippine Information Agency. Kaya kaya salamat dito. Good morning sa tong panelist guest. Kaya kalo bentaga. Si Yusuf Kaya 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 Sabi Paulo. Good morning, Kapitan. Thank you so much, Ponce Rada from Philippine Information Agency. Ah, may nung tayo na sa tawag ng Oban Kremtagan. Murag. Ah, hapit ko mag-first honor. Okay. Ako sa itong King Sir Matoy, Munag Sir. Ako ka sa itong bisita, Karong Buntaga. The Ever Cute. Ever Cute. Oh no, 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 no Si Ma'am Nati Bayubay. Good morning, Ma'am. And welcome to Katihan sa Dipolo. Thank you, Ma'am Edit. Thank you for having me here. Privilege po ako nakasama ko siya. Kasi ang dami po namin po yung pag-usapan. Education and poverty that is. Thank you, everyone, and good morning, everyone. That's why we tie up with kamong duha, ma'am, kay para masulbat tong agi mo di tong sa siyayan, bukit sa siyayan. Oh, de na oh, de na siya oh, siyos ng matoy. Hopefully, will answer all your problems regarding education. So, yes, okay. So, bahin sir, proceed tega mai sir before kay na naman education sir, no? Bahin anang tax reform measures. Ah. Lingon magot sila, doon ay mga opinions, no? Nga, kining tax reform measures, although makakuha, makahatag din mga tax exemptions, no? Sa mga less privilege, o kata mga minimum wage earners, ana. Pero, mubalhin man ko na, na dito sa value added tax, sa, especially sa kananiang mga gasoline, o, oh, no? Sa mga sweetened ng mga products, ana ba? So, Tanan gihapon magsabi ra gihapon kay mo palit magtatanan ani di ba so namura oh it all boils down to nothing wala epekto ang tax reform what is your comment sir so mura buto og daw buto ni ka sudlanan kuha ana ni usa balin mo dire dan mabalik ko gihapon dito no so mura mo nang ang flow sa to ah kay the moment you increase the size tax of petroleum, tanang mga activities of production that is being propelled by petroleum, usak agi na siya. Asa mga kwa, asa negosyante di, ipatong ramang po nato. That is the reality, no? Okay, di ka magigosyo o mga logik ka. Nakita kay, 
Bahkan nato kita kan, mungkin ibu santai satu pak social service satu sama ni mam no education, okay lah. So mau nak ngah tenau nato, asal mengajar kan, kita nak really prevent that no. I think the government is memani asal kita. So long as the those income, middle income, and more down below, di lama afik tahan, perak okay pun nato deh bang. Because the government has to and and you know the government cannot function without taxes. Mato Penila, there are only two things that is certain in our life, death and succession. So, Mona, look, nga, Mutu nga, I was thinking, Mutu nga, gusto ko mong palito ko sa ka, snowflake, bitaw. Ako palito nga sa sari-sari store, dan ako kong palito nga sa mall. You don't know why it's different sa Batman or William Bat, no? Yung mga hulog mong ito, itong gingon nga, okay, Mga nakasari-sari store, kapitalisasyon na plus than 3 million. Pero pag palitin mo sa imong source, doon na na ipat. Okay. Okay. Pag baligyan ni mo, what to be what, kano mo palit, apan wak mo po ni mo ipatong to mo ipat sa pat. So, asa may diferensya anak? But we have to have a study on that. So, muna nga, while it napal na sa Senado, then there will be a bite come. I think the civil society and the basic sector are Actually, who are being hit, no, are are jacking up. Now there must be some exemptions, more exemptions to that. Okay, thank you so much. Nado de si Mam Nati, bayo bay. Ato ang muli ko na tadaan anang topic na to pahin sa kanang taxes, no? Kay na naningkamo tong tatamo mo invite ng taga Bureau of Internal Revenue through ni Attorney Hilmon Kada, imo ang estudyante na minaw na manasaron ga monitor man si Attorney Hilmon Kada. Good morning to you and your wife, no? Oh, good morning ni Ma'am Eunice o ni Hana. Nabi si Hana. Si Hana ko. Ni Ma'am Nati, okay? So, education, Ma'am Nati. What is the real situation of education here in Sambuanga del Norte? Especially so nga we're already on the first few days of classes in Sambuanga del Norte. So, what's the implementation of K-12? Yes, Ma'am Nati. This is the second year for the senior high school. So uh, this June was the opening for the classes for grade 12. Uh, as to how is education? We are with the K-12 curriculum. So basically, there are changes in the delivery and the content of the curriculum. Uh, for, for the opening of classes, we had First lesson strength. The instructions for all teachers and everyone in charge, uh, everybody in the school is that on June 5, last June 5, was the delivery of the first lessons for the school year 2017-2018. So most of the people at the division office uh, with the curriculum uh, division and the STOD, we have gone to the schools last week. So June 5 pa po, my instructions for the district supervisors is for them to be at the farthest school in their district. So, farthest school sa mga kanilang districts. Okay. From there, yes, from there, they would move down to the other schools. So, for the last four days, kasi holiday man po yung Tuesday, I, I expect that uh, those uh, responsible people would have gone to the schools. So, Ma'am Nati, do we have enough classrooms and teachers uh, in the entire division of Sanguanga del Norte? Uh, for the last school year, in 2017, uh, we were, like, we needed as much as 456 elementary school teachers. That's kindergarten to grade 6. Then this uh, beginning of this school year, uh, we were given 137 items. So, medyo kulang pa po. Opo. So, meron pa po kaming need. Pero, ano naman po siya? I mean, we can manage the classes. Uh, a central school can have as much as 50 children in a class. Yung mga malalayong iskwilahan naman po, medyo nababalan siya kasi dun sa malayo, you cannot really find 50 in a class, right? So, meron pong a class of 15 or less sa mga malalayang iskwalahan. So, medyo na-even po yung aming distribution of, 
of uh, children and classes. Pero meron pa din po kaming need. Kasi medyo this time, in our campaign for parents to get their children to the schools, lumaki din po yung aming enrollment compared to last year. But I cannot give you the figure this time. There's an increase, around 20% of the enrollment. Meron din po kasi kaming opening of schools. Kaya inaasahan ko po na talagang lalaki. Hmm? Yeah, the opening. Okay, Edgar. Ito lang, good morning. Welcome back to Kapihan. Ma'am, hahaan ng schools ba tayo meron ng K-12 dito? And ano bang sistema dito? Yung minapatalang kasi yung junior instructors or teachers, sila ba yung nahandle ng grade 12? Yung grade 11 sila pa rin? O iba talaga yung grade 12? Mayroon pa punta nung sister. Ano yun? Use your microphone, please. Yung last time yung mention na mag-open ng summer in Lilo, was that Lilo? Yes. No, there's, we were, we planned and we have submitted our request for the, for us to be allowed to open extension schools for grade 7. Last time po, no, no, no. We have 41 across the division. 41 schools. Apo. Yung pinag-usapan po yata natin nun, sir, yung about uh, Labason. Labason. Yeah, the Labason, wherein the population has no public school. Very controversial po yun. Apo. Apo. But this, meron silang kipit at saka ubay. And extensions, uh, palas and uh, Apo. Hindi po. Uh, ano na sila? Uh, independent schools na yung Balas at saka Lawigan. Pero yung main schools po nila, ang malalaking eskwalahan nila ay Kipit at saka Ubay. Ang wala po yung poblasyon. Lupok. Opo. For the past years. So, I'm happy to tell you that we are able to open in Lupok at the central schools. So, I have asked the uh, no, mga LCU po, ang aming mga stakeholders dun who can help us with the establishment of this integrated school at the central school to ano, to process the documents needed. So, nakita ko na po yung klase nila. Mayroon po kaming, yung expected namin na enrollment is 165. Ang nakita ko po last week, 149. So, meron po kaming tatlong classes of grade 7 at Labason Central School. Ang wala pong problema dun po sa Labason kasi malaki po yung kanyang area. So I have asked authorization. I have asked for authorization na mag-establish po kami doon ng grade 7. Eventually this will finish up to grade 12. So yung grade 7 ma'am, you're referring to first year? Yes, first year po siya. O karon gud sa kita gud sa na our generation is a grade 6 then First year high school, second year, third year, college, di ba? Apo. Ngayon, continued po siya. Kindergarten to grade 12. Apo. So, yung tanong po ni sir about the qualification of teachers for grade 12, iba po yung kanilang ano, they are covered by different standards compared to that of the junior high school teachers and the elementary teachers. Apo. Pero, qualified pa din, yung qualification ng grade 11 teacher, pareho lang po sa grade 12 teacher. Opo, yun yung senior high schools, grade 11 and grade 12. Pareho lang po yung kanilang qualifications. Okay, yung sick matter, yes. Do you have economic or industrial teachers? Meron po kami nga, no? Meron po silang track like TLE. Opo, TBE. Opo, Technical Vocational Education. Go to our generation. You have the economic teacher, no? An industrial teacher. H-E. 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 Ah, yung vocational. Yes, a vocational. Parang ganun po yung track nung isa, vocational education. The same thing. Okay. Okay. Do you have enough or do you have an excess of these teachers? In Manila, I read, they have an excess of 3,000. Now, they are trying to, you know, since they are already, yeah, they have to, they have to teach either in the senior or Uh, junior high school, no? 
because they are already there. Three, three thousand <laughs> excess. Oh, and existing, so I was asking, existing teachers. Yeah, yeah, it's a teacher. So oh, I was thinking, if we have an excess, because they cannot teach other than what? If you are an NHC teacher, or an NHC teacher, can Okay, but they are trying to make a program that they'll be able to teach all the all senior subject. and junior high school, so that uh, this excess can be can be addressed too. Ang well, problema, ang problema po namin dito kulang po kami ng applicant, qualified, yung qualified applicants yes. yeah. sa ano kano po sa senior high school po. Sa senior high school. So may mga until pa din po kami ng items. That the senior high school, ma. Is it the same curriculum of the fourth year before or different? The fourth year high no, school is different. No, the fourth year in the Philippine ano, curriculum kasi oh. nagbilong siya sa junior high school. Pero okay. sa ibang country, yung grade 11, no, grade 10, 11, 12, yun po yung senior high school. Senior high school okay. Dito po sa atin, 7, 8, 9, 10 okay. ang junior. Yeah, we are behind. So kasama pa din yung ating fourth year sa junior. Okay. So, uh, uh, curriculum? Uh, junior high school. Uh, Ma'am, uh, I, I was ano, informed na you are conducting now English proficiency uh, in somewhere in Katipunan. And then, we were wondering, di ba, uh, meron na tayo, introduce na ta natin ang local dialects to be, to be uh, the mode of instruction in classes, in classrooms. Uh, is it, is it, uh, is, uh, what is the purpose of that? Ano po yun, the English proficiency test is for the teachers, uh, po, not for the children. So we, it was conducted as part of the assessment for uh, incoming teachers. English proficiency. Uh, regarding the, the language, a little bit more. Uh, before it was a bilingual English and the native, no? Or the local uh, dialect. Local dialect. Uh, dialect. Mother tongue. Mother tongue. Mother tongue. Okay. Not necessarily Tagalog, no? If you are in the Visayan region, the Visayan. Now, uh, we, we heard some some problems. That when a teacher, although he talks Visayan, but uh, being sent to to the far remote places where the IPs, the IPs uh, language different from Visayan. Now, if you are going to send, although, okay, Bisaya, I'm going to, I will go, no, I can teach. But when he see or she's there, uh, he cannot uh, teach how the IPs will understand and understand. Is there a program that, uh, to address this, to address this? In fact, sa, sa NAPSI, we're having a prototype. We're going to these uh, mountainous areas, and then we have this alternate, to their, one with an alternative learning. Then, uh, it will be on, IP's language so that we can understand. Huh? Now, is there a program that you will absorb uh, some IP's, no? uh, IP's as part of your teacher's uh, no, group in order that they can be deployed in this area? Uh, back in 2014, there were deployments of IP item. Uh, schools were identified where in enrollments are of uh, IP. So, uh, an item had been labeled as an IP item. So we look for teachers among our qualified applicants. Kung sino yung IP, uh, hindi siya necessary na ano siya, na full blooded. Ang amin lang, they can speak and they can speak fluent IP. Uh, they IP can communicate. Uh, uh, they can uh, communicate. They can communicate to the kids. But then we had. I needed to clarify this one because uh, last uh, in June five, I went to a far school. And I was surprised that these kids, despite of all the trainings and capability buildings that were uh, providing for teachers, punong puno po kami ng training. Like in my time, we have spent almost, uh, I don't know, for training of teachers since 2013, baka may 50 million na po kami na spend sa capability building po ng teacher. How to deliver the curriculum, so how to fine. teach. <laughs> Yun, nag, nako, para akong, para akong ano, para akong, hindi ko alam ko anong gagawin ko when I got to a classroom and it was grade 5 and the, the instruction was for the delivery of the first lesson hindi siya necessary na very formal it is just that you need they need to be ano, they need to get back to the school so you have to teach them a lesson that is for those grades 
Now, uh, when I got to into the classroom, I, I was... Uh, <laughs> po, po, ano, po ako, I would blend to the group if I had to. Pero, pero ano siya, when I asked that, uh, when I asked that they, they talk or like start communicating uh, already the lesson, I, I was surprised that those kids could not understand Tagalog or in English. And they were in grade 5. Um, talagang okay. hihimatayin ako. Opo. Ang sinasabi ni sir na baka hindi ho tiga doon ang mga teacher, pwede ko kong i-relate yung ano nyo. We have mother tongue from kindergarten to grade 3. But then, it is a subject matter. It is like English. It is taught like any subject. Like English, math, and science. Opo. Hindi po siya ano. In grade 1, siya, siya na po yung ano, for the first half year, siya na po yung ano, medium of instruction. But then they would move on and it would it would be reduced to being the subject matter. It is taught like English as a language subject. I don't know because so I asked the teacher, how could you communicate this one? How would you be teaching this lesson to them? And they don't understand English or Philippines. Sabi niya, ma'am, I translate. I was totally shocked because this is a, hindi siya bagong teacher ito. Matagal na siyang teacher. Around 10 years na siguro siya natuturo. And sinabi niya sa akin na he's translating the subject, the lesson, to the kids in Bisaya. That's why, opo, medyo mahila po yun. Opo, habang habang nag nag nag-aaral ang mata, sabi ko, you have been wasting the time of these kids. Hindi naman po hindi naman po bisaya yung assessment ng skills ng bata. When they need to move to next grade, it's in English. Opo, sa English. In kung magpipilosop po sila na hindi naman kailangan na marunong ka ng English, dahil English really is not the uh, the assessment for intelligence. It's not the ability to speak and all. But then they need to be able to understand kung ano yung pinag-uusapan. Opo. So medyo, medyo yun na yata ang problema ko dito na they had to translate to Bisaya their lesson. Hindi ho pwede yun. Ngayon yung sinasabi ni sir na we need to deploy teachers who are able to communicate to them. Uh, ideal po talaga yon. That's why I have deployed around 50 of the 137 given po siya sa mga IP applicants. They also have a different uh, standards for assessment for the IP wherein a uh, higher point is given to their affiliation and being able to speak. So medyo marami pong pumasa. Ngayon, yung problema ni sir na hindi nakakaintindi yung teacher at saka bata you had to remember na if we had to get back to history. The first teachers were Americans and totally they speak English. Yes. Um, yes. Thomasites. 1,000 of them were deployed to the Philippines to take on their education, take on teaching to the Filipino children who cannot speak English. But how is it that they were able to communicate? It is, yun yung sabi ko sa kanila, you do not translate, you don't automatically translate, you get to simplify your lesson to the basic that you can communicate. That this is a table, that this is a table in English without resorting to telling the name in Bisaya. So, ganun po yung quality of education. I know to use palates in Cebu and in the some Sambuanga then Sabugay. Uh, but people that are uh, English speaking because of the missionaries. Yeah. We were surprised. Huh? I, I have encouraged the teacher not to is, be readily correcting children when they try English. Sabi ko, let them speak English in school. Be it that it's Carabao English. They call it Carabao yeah. English. Broken and all. Wag na lang post nilang kinokorek agad. But then we have to start with the teachers. Kaya nga po may EPT kami. <laughs> Kailangan malaman namin kung marunong ba yung teacher na maging English. Kasi ang nakakatuwa din po, sir, I had I had this uh, girl with me. Nag-aaral siya ng isang college dito. Nung first year niya, sabi niya, hindi talaga ako matututo kasi yung teacher namin nagbibisaya. And that's a college. Come on. 
But if you are not also keen on reading and researching, you will not also grow. Siguro. Ganun ang problema ko sa teachers. If they cannot, like we are, we have connected with the private individuals na pwede mag-donate ng books. Madami po kami na po po ang books. Pwede namin, ini-encourage namin yung mga bata to be reading. But then, Initially, first of all, they have to be familiar with the English first be before they get interested to pick a book in English. Siguro, ma'am, uh, there should be basic uh, sort of a training. Yung English na medyo hindi masyado mahirap, no? Just to understand. Just because uh, even, in, even in law, no? they encourage to have a proficiency of English. Yeah, that is in law. Uh, no less than Justice Brion uh, observed that, that uh, we should ano, be proficient in English, uh, something like that. But sometimes, when you emphasize too much in English, you have also nationalists to say, well, you have to teach it, right? uh, So there's, there's that conflict uh, between nationalism and uh, being colonial. <laughs> because the moment that you try to emphasize in English, then you are colonial. No? So let's talk about uh, our basic. But I think the point will come, it depends on your kind of job. No? For instance, in my case, uh, I have a hard time because every time we talk, it will be in Filipino. We address, no? Yung mga, uh, one time I was sent sa Kadamay, I have to talk. Then I said, I have to forgo with formalities of Tagalog because I can speak conversational Tagalog, no, no problem about that. Pero yung mga talagpati kanya, mahirap yan. <laughs> Especially when the words not pronounced in five type of five, no? Five to the people. Wala na, yung tang mo na yun. <laughs> Twist, no? But somehow, I think uh, Tagalog should, uh, no, Filipino should also be taught pagdating ng college it must be optional kasi you, when you go into your profession somehow you have to choose no? ako suddenly I have to be forced to Filipino uh, all the while uh, academics uh, alone hindi naman ang chat but now I have to read and read ang <laughs> Tagalog to familiarize I think uh, somehow it's like that no? it's, it's life no? you cannot really pinpoint one situation and then that will be the whole situation. I think particular uh, situation uh, yeah. uh, but, I remember but this we are very glad that our DepEd, the province, is really taking uh, things about this that is addressing. You know, well, it can be reached with people, especially in the poor. I remember, sir, in classrooms in various schools in the province of Smogar and Norte, they say, speak Filipino. Uh, and here, speak English. <laughs> Somehow education, education, if we can improve education, we will be able to lessen poverty. Yes. Uh, that is the key. Uh, education is one of the key. Okay. Yes. Uh, so what yes. Uh, the gender lang ba hin sa speaking in English or Filipino? <laughs> uh, I think ang uh, importante yun uh, nga practical punta sa sa kwanato ba sa impact ani kay even China now the one of the biggest economies in the world na purely socialist yun sila they loyal kasi sila sa ilang uh, national uh, nationality. But then they are now training armies, vast armies of young other uh, young people for English. Because they want to conquer the the, the world, no, through and not not conquer na conquer, but they conquer the economy. Yes, um, they want to engage in business partnerships. So uh, this is a lesson for us, siguro. Kay, uh, otherwise, pasinog mabiti no niya. In fact, uh, ang atobe ang usa sa kisaligan is the call center industry, which is basically uh, dependent on English proficiency. Uh, good, no. Uh, yes. You know. Uh, I had the opportunity to go to China and to Japan at the time. At the time, uh, when you when you pay in dollars, they will not accept. You should either pay in uh, yen in Japan or won in the China. And so our group say they're very nationalistic, no, very nationalistic. Then later on, we try to we try to go over. Probably it's a real nationalistic because they do not know English. They do not know how to convert dollar into dollar. Right? So they have no way but how to receive their dollar. In the Philippines, uh, even the far flung, when it is dollar, they know it is dollar. No? So we are very good in the conversions like that. That uh, somehow it is not become nationalistic no? because we know. Uh, at least Filipinos are, you know, very, very advanced. Okay. 
Ma'am, going back to that situation, how will you, how will you correct it so that you ca you will not get frustrated always? No. Uh, how do you mean correcting the teachers yes, for translating? Uh, yes. uh, there's an instruction for them that there's no such thing as a translation. Yes. The language is to be taught. Uh, mother tongue is to be taught as a language. It's not a medium of instruction when you get on to higher grades. Yes, medium of instruction siya in places like in kindergarten and in grade one for those places where it's applicable. Yes. But we, we are not also imposing generally na mother tongue kasi you have this case of sirawai. Mix yes. po ang sirawai and yes. they, they don't, they, it's not uh, mother tongue. Bisaya is not mother tongue Kalibugan. to them. May kalibugan, um, may tauso. Yes. So, medyo, ang request po nila, Tagalog po kami, sabi nila. They are more conversant in Tagalog. Opo. So, hindi na ho namin in-impose ang mother tongue doon. Opo. Ngayon, sa mga teachers naman po, we know, uh, teacher po ako dati, ma. Yes. Teacher pa din po ako I'm ngayon. Always. Opo, opo. Nag-teach po ako from grade 1 up to grade 6. And really, I, I, I went with that, ano, creed na, you don't translate. I have taught English to grade 1. Uh, kinukwento ko nga po, dun sa amin, kahit na, kasi parang common ng English ba, in, in the Cordilleras. So, when children would go home, those farmers in their fields would call out to them, How was your day? And, yes. Good morning. And it is fine. They are speaking English yes. and it's fine. So, I hope those, uh, it's not being, not being, not, an, 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 nationalistic if you speak English. It's not. It's just that uh, you're more even appreciating your yourselves when you learn other languages. Yes. Uh, that, that is true with, about translation. No? Uh, usually, when we speak English, uh, we can a little bit faulty when we translate just to English. Uh, even the argument, no? uh, somehow we have some generation. Uh, we, were, we were taught that you speak in English, even in the in your thinking. Meaning, when he's arguing, your your uh, your, uh, no, your argument should also be in English in your mind already. And then, uh, do not get it from the design point of view. Then you say, "Paso." Then that's it, "Paso." Glass, no, I cannot. So uh, you'll be you'll have a fault then, also. No? So it should. When, when you are doing English, should, your mind should be in English. Uh, in English, uh, that's correct. Uh, when you are doing translation, so that, because we will notice that, uh, like us for instance, we are talking about English because sometimes we go into that kind of uh, uh, situation where we have to translate Visayan into English and then speak it out. <laughs> yeah. Ang ang sa amin naman po, this is a reality here. It's a very big division. May mga remote po talagang iskwelahan. Very remote. Na ang, ang exposure lang talaga ng mga bata to the outside world is the teacher. Opo, sana ka ako. Itong mga teacher na to, gamitin nila yung sarili nila as a medium of transporting these kids outside of their, of their community. Na through them, their, the experience of the kids with them would show an outside world. Yun yung pakiusap ko sa mga teachers. Huwag mo namang i-reduce din ang sarili mo na maging wala na silang alam kung ano ba ang difference nila with those from other places. Yun ang nangyayari. Like, ang gusto ko sa kanila, like if you are engaging a kid, then they get to see the world through you. Yung mga sinasabi mo, yung mga kwento mo, na expose mo sila para mag so that they can also dream of getting to that world one day. Cool. In fact, ma'am, uh, even in the construction of school building, no? uh, I, had, I had a question to Sir Mama, no? uh, I always like to make it a point that the school must have a plus toilet. If there, uh, there is water, no? uh, then they, uh, no, we have some no, people say, in the planning, Oh, we don't forgive that, that it's uh, possible like that, or even electricity, no? No, I said, you have to expose our children with this kind of uh, 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 facilities, because why? Because when they go to the progression, uh, they know how to use it. If they're going to be a uh, domestic helper, you know, 
So, there's no much coaching from the... <laughs> uh, uh, because they know already how to handle. Uh, even the electricity, they have to. Then, sometimes, from, uh, our students will feel weak, no? Uh, siguro, there should be addressed on the nutritional value of what they're eating, no? Ganon. And then, the food intake. That's why, you go to the barangay, you say, they must have no gets, no? And not because they are not, they are dumb, no? But because of their nutritional value, wala man siya makain, so they will just stare at you, no? What kind of blanco? And we are trying to address that. This WD has a lot of money, that has a lot of money, uh, kami naman nag-coordinate, uh, this will be addressed, that, because that is one of our basic uh, needs, nutrition, food, no? on, on that aspect. Uh, we have that, uh, people from the barangay will be brighter. In fact, the bar result will show uh, all those who top were not from Metro Manila. <laughs> from, from the provinces, because probably the nutritional value of what they're eating is pretty good. <laughs> yes. Ganito po. So, may I ask yes. that, ano, may I ask that uh, we talk on investment in education? Yes. Like, uh, ako po, magaling po talaga akong mag-solicit. Nako, pilitan na po yate. <laughs> oh, po. Good that you have using my toy here. Oh, po. He is open to solicitation. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Ito po yung ano, I have, uh, I have asked that we further invest in education. Sinasabi ko sa mga, in our conferences with parents, I try to speak to them that really, yung paggasto po nila sa mga anak nila, hindi po yun expenditure. Hindi ko lang po paano sabihin sa kanilang payment. Mag-invest lang po talaga sila. May mga kwento nga po na like, I've met uh, some families here na, teachers sila but they get ano they have better lives compared to most people na rich kasi yung mga anak nila doctors pilots mga ganun po nag-invest sila sa education nila ng anak nila not necessarily in materials but on the kids on their children so mas magandang po ang buhay nila definitely ngayon ang ang lagi ko pong campaign ko like uh, i am using these words from Frederick Douglass it is easier to build strong children than to repair broken men. Yun po yung ating, yun po yung ating situation these days, like problems in drugs, problems in this and this and that. If only those kids were invested on, when they were kids, these people were invested on with education, love and attention and all that, then we wouldn't have this broken men in our midst, right? So, nagkakampaign po ako sa mga magulang na sana po. As much as uh, government is spending much in the schools, let us bring those children back to schools. We will take care of them. Definitely, we will take care of them. Pag nasa eskwelahan po sila, ilalayo po namin sa kasamaan yung mga bata, sa disgrasya, sana po mga magulang. In, kahit po gaano kahirap po ang buhay, wala hong difference na yung anak nasa bahay at nasa eskwelahan kung pagkain ang pag-uusapan. Pakakainin mo pa din ang bata kahit nasa bahay siya at nasa eskwelahan. Ganun po yung hinihiling ko sa mga magulang. I am I'm praying for people who could really deliver this message to families, to parents, na hindi ko ma-reach in, siguro dahil I am an outsider from this place. Nahihirapan po ako mag-deliver ng message. Pero ito po yung basic na message po namin. Bring your children to the schools. We will take care of them. This is the duty of the deafet. Ako po, may mga pagkukulang po kami sa eskwelahan. Like kulang-kulang kami sa buildings. Magka-problema nga po ako dahil malaki po ang budget ng buildings namin. Pero hindi po siya natatapos in time. So I'm in hot water. Kasi kinu-question ko yung mga kung sinong accountable, eh ako ngayon ang masama. Hindi naman po. May schedule lang po talaga ng completion ng building. They should deliver this building to us this time. So, dapat yung mga 2013 namin pong building, dapat natapos na yung 2013. Yung mga grade 11 namin building, natapos na din po siya nung June of 20 17 dapat. 2016. Para nagamit ng grade 11. Yung grade 12, magagamit po sana namin ngayon. So, ito yung mga pagkukulang, ito yung mga pagkukulang ng DepEd na medyo wala po kaming magawa. Wala po akong control. Pero itong control ko, ito yung pagpasok ng mga teachers sa eskwelahan on time, nakokontrol ko po yan. 
I am taking full responsibilities of the behaviors of the teachers. So, kung may, kung may problema po kayo relative to how, your, how the teachers are handling your children, open po yung aming line. I, I take full responsibilities of it. I am asking parents and all others who can really help me with this, the education of your children. Trust Bepet. Bring your children to the schools. We will take care of them. Hindi naman po kami ganun kayaman, pero meron po kami yung si Yusek Barinaga. I can really talk to him and, and uh, ask that uh, he coordinate the budget that I need for establishment of this 41 extension grade 7. We also have 64 extension for the great senior high school. So medyo malaki-laki po ang aming kailangan. Kasi hindi pa po ito funded ng DepEd local government pang magpa-fund and private individual nang hihingi ko ako ng tulong. Sa teachers naman po, nahingi ko na kay governor. So I was able to ask for uh, local school board teachers na 120. etong engagement ng teacher, hindi ho ako basta-basta makapag-engage kasi may moratorium po ang central office. Pinagpaalam ko na po sa central office na kung pwede ko silang i-engage para lang ma-service itong extension schools na 41. Opo. So, okay, you say, okay. Mato, you're not going to... We have no... We cannot assure... We cannot assure, ma'am, because uh, we're not the implementing agency. No? Because if we are only the implementing agency, you have no problem. Today, now, we can have that. But since we are... <laughs> but since we are not implementing, no, what we do is... Uh, our strength is in the convergence. Okay. Convergence. So whatever problem is there, we try to to spot which uh, department can help. Okay. No? And then uh, they can, we can have we have now the more or less uh, uh, some advantage because every month the NAPSI sits in bank. The president is the presiding officer. He's the lead of the NAPSI with our secretary. And all of these problems, we go over and then we have the execute things like that. And then we can present this in the in bank. Or, better, we can just write the agency concern because uh, they really like, these agencies or the department really like to help. The problem is they don't know where to help. Uh, sometimes they have duplications, things like that, no? uh, which have to be rationalized. And that is one of the uh, mandate of uh, NAPSI to monitor, evaluate, harmonize things like that. And with this problem, there are other things. Uh, I think we can more or less help them, but not immediate. Uh, uh, this uh, ito naman pong concern ko on the opening of schools. I, I was able to present this to Honorable Ang, uh, Senator Angara when he came by nung sports meet. Sabi ko sa kanya, we have 620 barangays in 25 municipalities, but we only have 108 high schools. So, malaking problema po yun. In, in short of uh, 500. 500 uh, 12. High school schools. schools. Kasi in your local government code po, nandun po siya, in every barangay, there should be a school. A high school. So, in 1980s, mid-80s, yun na po yung establishment ng barangay high schools. Then in the 1990s, they were converted to national high schools. Ngayon, sa Sambuanga del Norte, 108 lang po of the 620. So may problema kami sa participation at enrollment ng high schools. Uh, Only 20 extension extension schools na yan, ma'am. Itong yeah. inopen ko na 41 will be add, added to the 108. Apo. Yeah. I have that experience because when I was congressman, usually were extensions. Okay. On the mother, ano, okay. diba? uh, like in Katipunan, for instance, the Basagan before was just an an extension. extension uh, then we made it to be independent. Okay. Okay. Na, na, uh, uh, just to follow some requirements, okay. 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 Side, okay. Okay. but the president was very was very, ano, responsive to that. So okay. we were able to open. Okay. Ang etong 41 naman po, although 40 lang talaga na pakiusap ko, merong siruan na humabol, Katipunan. Katipunan. Malayo daw po talaga yon. So, is it at the river? We, we, no, I don't know what. Uh, oh, oh, ano siya? Wala kasi silang ano? Wala silang wala silang high school don. So, definitely, 
may ano, may may pagkukulang tayo sa mga bata. The government is uh, short of its services to the children kasi hindi sila nakapag-establish ng high school. So this time, meron po kaming high school doon. Uh, extension to Bulawan Timagas extension. And Timagas and then Siruan extension. Dalawa po siya na grade 7. Sa senior high, merong Bulawan, San Vicente, and Sigo. Si Jan Vicente. High school na yun, ma'am. Opo. Pero mag-extend ng senior high. Opo. Yung proposal ko sa grade 7, dalawa po sa katipunan. Timagas at saka Siruan. So, these are far places. What do you expect of children walking 10 kilometers? Hindi po talaga sila magtatagal sa eskwelahan. You know what one time, ma'am, sa Rojas, na bakit, no? They were uh, attending school sa Manawan. They, ano, they start, jump off time nil is 4 o'clock dawn, uh, just to reach it around 8 o'clock, and then uh, mga 4 o'clock naman, they reach mga 10 o'clock. Uh, just imagine that to walk. Uh, ang, paki yeah. ang pakiusap ko po, pwede din po ito natin pag-usapan niyo, Sek. Okay. Yung ang Let's so, sumulat po ako kaya, no? Meron po akong sulat together with the data. And I, I was so happy that the planning office in our central office called up verifying yung aking data sa sulat ko kay Senator Angara. So, somehow, Senator connected already with the DepEd asking on how this uh, situation could be helped. So, ang itatanong ko naman po kay, ano, kay, hindi ko na natanong kay Senator Angara yung provision of dormitories. Pwede ko pong ipadaan sa NAPSI. Kasi this is one Ay, thing na... na opo. Na. Opo. Direct link. Direct link. Opo. 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 Na kung pwede, itong mga 41 ko na extension, grade 7 extension, that they provided a dormitory. Kasi these people are living really far from their homes. I, I don't know how receptive uh, DepEd will be, no? No, no, no. DepEd will not be giving dormitories Dormito. kasi hindi siya kasama sa aming ah, okay. mga facilities. Okay, convergent tayo, convergent, okay. no? Oh, kasi we have a prototype, uh, prototype uh, project. About this, uh, yung SOS of our school, okay. no? Uh, parang complete siya. May dormitory, no? uh, the nutritional value is there, you have okay. the gardening, and I like that, as a whole, no? That is, that is why we are making this uh, if it will be successful, we can replicate it. You know, Come on, we can, you can, uh, no, you can, uh, you don't have, you, we don't need to uh, no, wait for its replication. Pwede ho natin i-pilot sa mga skwelahan ko. Ibibigay ko po sa inyo list tayo. Right now. Ibigay mo right now. Okay. Witness mo kayo. <laughs> Witness kami lahat. Saka yung mga regions na pinag-viewers. SLS for the schools. Okay. This will be our greatest pa. Uh, challenge and how to make into a convergence, ano? Uh -huh. how, how we can source the funding, uh -huh. all of this, you know? Na, naka, nakalagay din dyan yung initial na enrollment ng bata, tapos saan sila na barangay mang, manggagaling? So you would have a better idea in, in your group kung malayo talaga o hindi. Pero very, very, ano po, they, we will be very blessed talaga if you could give us that SOS for the schools. Apo, uh -huh. yung package po niya. Ang, ang ipropromise ko naman po sa inyo, yung cooperation ng community. I can totally talk to them na isupport nila yung project. Kung kailangan sila na yung mag-garden for the garden, I can make them do that. Opo. Uh, okay mo. Uh, yung ano, yung nutritional value, yung, we have a program, yung ginawag ng Integrated Community Food Production. No? Uh, the concept is that uh, we try to encourage every family or a community uh, <coughs> to plant all these uh, vegetables, whatever, that concerns with nutritional value, okay? The concept is that they have to make it on their subsistence, and whatever excess they have, they may sell. No? Now, that's the, the concept. But then when I discuss it, <coughs> I said, okay, nutritional value, but we need that, uh, especially mga HE, no? Oh, how to make these things uh, palatable to everybody. For instance, you know, it's a kalamungay. They eat. They, will, they eat. So, it's a normal kakain yan. But when you, you guys uh, will uh, cook 
Manumbai, uh, it is palatable in a way, Mongo. We are able to trans transfer the technology, you know, uh, avocado for instance, they eat something, but we want it, they blend more, like Yamonang, Kundeng Sada, but they are deprived of water, so, parang avocado sa kanila, and avocado lang yan, you know, they don't eat, you know, but so this is a very fun. So, pwede pong part ng inyong SOS, yung ano, preparation ng lunch in the school, para sila na po ang mag-prepare with the produce from their garden para mapakain po namin yung mga bata. Definitely, we can have those kids in the schools every day. Kung okay. meron po ganung package. Yeah. Okay na ma'am. Uh, okay. uh, siguro, we'll try to see if the NAPSI can uh, provide yung mga seedlings can uh, ganun, no? uh, Then, going further, you can even have poultry. Yung mga poultry, uh, for subsistence sa mga naman. Hindi naman pa naikulay. <laughs> Wala akong problema sa keeping those gardens and the poultry. If we can keep the children in the schools, kanya-kanya na po silang alaga. Opo, opo. At least so, during lunch, uh, they're assured. Of they're meal, assured of, yes, yes. Uh, they're assured of uh, a good food. Opo. And definitely, in some cases, some kids would still want to stay even on weekends kasi there's food in the school compared to food. So, ang hihingin ko sa kanya na facility really would be a dormitory. A comfortable dormitory for everybody. 41 school to be, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, that's true, no? For this, uh, save our school. Uh, we're able, uh, the secretary is very active, you know, when it comes to this. Uh, we're able to source uh, 50 million for, for this. We uh, yung ano, yung synapse, yeah, because we were able to, to provide, and then yeah, they were convinced uh, it's really needed in the for our purpose. <laughs> yes. Knowing that he is from Sabuanga del Norte, walang reason na hindi siya mag-help. Okay, Edgar, your question, please. Okay. Uh, ako sa akong kawang ang, ang reaction ni, ni Yosek Bolinaga. Uh, una po, for Kahan, it's obvious nga, one of the main purpose of Polpis, uh, Polpis music is for the continuous education of the children. Uh, pero nowadays, it is hard to know nga, ano ang naman ito po? Uh, wala na wala kaayong na na tama ng mga sekretaryo sa parties. Most of the kinds of these parties recipients are loan or uh, loan checks. Nasa loan checks. So, ito mo, pagpakiluol ang mga gilikanan sa mga teachers, pinag-abot na sa end of the school year. Pero nang matirmahan, kinawala ang ilahang pagka-parties member. Well, but we did on purpose, I mean, on purpose, and this still, uh, according to me, it's a part of the, uh, and I, and I did this, and what happened, 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 it's just happening over in the province where purpose students in an situation. So, I'm bringing this up, but some of the women, I don't know, I make a current comment, it's very common, it's very obvious, I'm kind, some of the purpose, I'm not some of the young sharks. <laughs> but but it's just why we need monitoring, yeah. monitoring. Because sometimes the purpose of the project is not addressed too, yeah. no? because for lack of monitoring. For instance, for peace, I think uh, the major major uh, concern there is that that should be given for the pupils not to go to school and they're monitored by the teacher that the children is attending. Now, if it is attending, then that can be reported that they will be related whether they will continue to be uh, purpose or not. No, so, we can do that. Okay. So, uh, with, with the leadership of the Imam, I think uh, Zambuaga del Norte is uh, not, not much of a problem because we are monitoring uh, for, for this. Uh, Di po, yung monitoring po namin, like uh, we had this problem na yung parent would insist with the teacher na i-sign niya yung attendance ng bata kahit wala yung bata. Opo. Kahit hindi nila na-comply yung yes. So, sinasabihan kayo mga teachers na you're not helping actually the children if you do that. Opo. So, hindi na sila nagsasign. I've asked that they don't sign it but a kid is absent and is not compliant to the required number of attendance. Magtanong lang talaga ka ako if the kid had been sick or something. Then that would be a different case. Opo. 
Tapos pinatigil ko na din po yung ano, when they receive their four fees allowance, nagma-market po sila. They would get their children from the school, bring them to the market. Hindi po. O mag-snack-snack pa. Sabi ko, hindi na nila mabili yung kung ano yung necessary na kailangan ng bata. I have asked children na kung pwede, mabilhan sila ng mga bota kasi pag umuulan, mga ganun. To keep them healthy, raincoats and umbrellas. Wala na. So, kailangan kailangan, ano, may monitoring din talaga yung ano, DSWD really if uh, this, the money had been spent had been spent where it should be spent. So, 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 mga butas, mga mga raincoat or whatever, don't you worry, when the election is coming, all of them, lots of candidates would like to, no, no, we got other candidates, we would be doing that. Okay, so what about things, sir? Yes, uh, I have two questions. Uh, una na ako question, bayan sa kaning poverty, uh, which can be answered siguro ni Yusek Matoy o ni Mambayubay because it has something to do with education. So, akong first question is, uh, nagkabalutan uh, sa ubang nasod, bata pa lang ang mga mga katawahan nila, naana sila financial literacy nga, nga mga subjects, and then gitrain na sila to, to be good stewards sa uh, ginagma yung kwarta. Then, subject po siya sa mga schools nila. Uh, I think naata din eh, pero uh, ang ang impact lang, medyo dili kayo one, no, effective siguro kaya nga nung wala man yun na nataas ang anta sa ito ekonomiya. So, nabay kwan kong ayusek ah, kaya ng program karon sa NAPSI uh, about this uh, in, in partnership with them and for a massive Uh, financial literacy education uh, sa atong kabataan. We already think of five no, for that. that there, 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 there should be savings. No? But the problem is there's nothing to save. <laughs> so, there's nothing to save. Just to know. You have a, in fact, we are going to that. No? If you talk about poverty threshold, okay, uh, a family of six, no? for food needs only, uh, no, five, family of five, each person, so at least 14 <laughs> for, for food needs lang na. Uh, then if you would include it with the uh, food and other basic needs, no, you have at least uh, 60 persons above. And that is where you get your food. You have to do three. So that is no paying two. So there's nothing to save uh, anymore, even how much you'd like to save. No? Uh, that is why uh, you have to upgrade. You have to upgrade. Now we have Uh, sometimes you talk, talk about poverty threshold, poverty incidence, you know, what is it for? No? For policy. No? But at least we will be aware. We will be aware. All our responsible persons will be aware that this is really our situation. Uh, we cannot kid about it. No? Otherwise, if we will always uh, having a massage uh, statistics, no? everything is very good. Now, how can you solve the problem? So, uh, sometimes, siguro, we have been that also, no? we should not be sensitive. No? We should not be sensitive with the truth. Don't be thinking on that. You better uh, no, live, or you may be hurt by the truth, uh, rather than to be comfortable with life. No? <laughs> It's something like that. So, just for a, just for a brief word, for the, for the 20 poorest provinces, no? number one is Lanao del Sur, second is Sulu. Third is, of course, Sikihor is uh, not from us. Then you have Maguindana uh, with us. Then you have <coughs> Northern Samar and the Southern. Sarangani. Sarangani. Uh, it's one of the poorest. Then you have Bukidun. Bukidun. Then you have Sambuanga del Norte. Uh, okay. Then uh, uh, you take out uh, Sikihor and uh, uh, you have number seven. Number seven tayo. And then uh, Western Samar, of course, is Sultan Kudarat. Then you have Negros Oriental, ah? okay. Then you have Eastern Samar. Then you have Agusan del Sur, Lano del Norte. Then you have Masbate, then North Cotabato. The problem is, then you have Surigao del Sur. Then you have Sorsogon. And so, all of these are in Mindanao. In Mindanao, see? Uh, how can you... This is our uh, situation. How about move up? Okay. And then, Yun nga, uh, our, uh, in order that a family of five has to earn at least 
versus average of every month. Now, for, uh, no, for basic food needs to include that, you must have at least 9,065. How much is how much is our minimum wage? 296 something like that for non-agri, for agricultural, lesser than that. They will divide that into uh, five family. So how much you get? So that is our situation. Of the, what are we doing? We have lots of money, but then probably there might be some, uh, you know, it is not well organized, <coughs> duplication, things like that. And that is why I want to rationalize. No? And I, I know uh, the, the tax reform for acceleration and incentive, there are four things only that will be given, and one of that is education. No? There will be four uh, beneficiaries of that tax. So, my boyfriend, Filipinos. <laughs> okay, we'll go first to commercial, no? After the break, uh, sasagutin ni Yusik Matoy Barinaga at saka ni Ma'am Nati Bayubay ang respective questions para sa isa't isa nilang dalawa. Okay, so, uh, first, nilang dalawa. Oh, mahirap mag-inusapay. Okay. <laughs> so, Matoy, Yusik Matoy, ha? Yusik Matoy. Oh. Uh, ingon ka sa sa atong poverty sanet may mo list dia ni mo ikapila ang sabaw di lorte number 7 okay you are in the napsi now siaro na man o dili ta mo improve ana mo go down ta ana or mo go up ba ta ana ato ang poverty situation incidents ang sabaw nga di lorte with you around as you set of napsi ha challenge na ni mo gyud sir o imo na tubag mo man and then si mam nati because there are, ano, there are uh, reports uh, accordingly. Sabi nila, ma'am, strict na ka daw talaga. Eh. <laughs> and I said, no, I think si ma'am nati, she's very, ano, kanang, very, yes, reasonable. And ah, sabi ko kanina, total package eh. Pero sabi talaga nila, strict na talaga si ma'am nati. I don't know uh, what is the definition of being strict. No? <laughs> Applies to the teacher's concerns. And also the media, because uh, gusto daw ng ibang media sana na mag-interview sa'yo pero mailap ka daw. Sabi nila, yung guards daw, hindi sila papasokin, I don't know. So, you better answer that ma'am because they are monitoring now <laughs> yung mga respective media men. Okay, yeah. yes sir. How can be a charming person be stick? Ah. Ah. Later, later. Ah. Okay, na po. Sige, ha? sige, ha? yes, sir, ka? yung commitment mo sa trip ni Mama. Okay, Edgar, go ahead. Okay, thank you very much for your support. Thank you very sponsors. Mas ganun na nakaliyo sa itong pangagubang sa itong mga kapiyan sa Dipalog. Ang itong busy ko talaga sa Lamaligan, kung sa ating opposition ko ng Lamaligan, si Honorable Advice ko din ito na sinunuwa ang hulos. Kung masabang nga ito ang pasalang nga pasalang 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 Ang ato ng Lobo Ato si Juan, dito sa Dolly Palo, Hong Kong, sa si Mr. Henry Chumero. Si Mr. Mahana Busan Agung, atong palputo sa Dahil Santa Isabel, the Polo, the City. Ato sa mga uh, uh, pasalamatan, ang JNG ay two foot nursery and lobo ride uh, na nagbaligyo at ang kalayang foot siblings. Mas banggaling nga sa Tulangkos ang Bongga del Norte. Do you want to go to Lumber Yard Vance, the Gallas, the Polo City? You can hear the Malay Minister and Mrs. Pompeo and Mrs. Angel. Janus Marketing. 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 Hello, Jim William and Jim Perkins sa Oma County, Northern Ireland. Di pala yung sabi ba ni Lapitan City, ano ba yung Lapitan City Councilor Alimani Lagpin, City Council, Lapitan City, Panginoon sa Kapiyan sa Dupalog. Yung sabi pala yung sabi na ito, si Fulcan District Congresswoman Luna Labag-Labag sa House of Representatives, so presenting 2nd District of San Juan Adel Norte. Ang National Grid Corporation of the Philippines, 
na nagpaibalong ha, tapos na natong mapayong sa lang one trip, single line transmission project sa MGCP na maglagda sa swing up na ito lang ko, maglalag ka lang buwan sa ating lalaga. Nga tayo balugi ka na sa MGCP, pinagin mo naman, bet na lalaga. Kaya masab, kapalain kita sa ating laing panelist na member sa Hunta Provincial, si Honorable Board Member Romelo Uli. Kaya masab, si Honorable City Councilor Attorney Ruben Ligurio, City Council di Polog City o panelist sa Kapilihan sa Dipolog. Nagpayusap ka na ito si Polanco, Mayor Ivan Hope Bullet on Me sa lungsod sa Polanco, kaoban sa iyong Vice Mayor, si Vice Mayor, Honorable Vice Mayor Alfredo Baitit sa lungsod sa Polanco. Di pa lang sa kita sa Petra Cement Incorporated sa Lower Ela sa Lua sa Bonga de Norte, pinagi na ni Engineer Gilbert Cruz. Ang Filja Credit Lending Services Incorporated na kanila ang dagang ng school supplies, school and office, computer accessories, gubahan pa. Ang akini, repurchase ni mga pahid, 100 pesos, wala hindi pa lang sa topic, magawat sa surreal estate and shuttle markets with low interest rate. Felgia Credit Lending Services Ang akin ni Diana O Gipanigia Gilmala Ni Kadawad Melanie Lectran Sa Balagay Barang Di Talong City Ngayon na palay ka na ito Mga si Atone Ang atong legal consultant Nga si Atone Crescencio Palpagan Jr. Na kalunay na palay Sa kapihan sa Di Talong O huwag kong bayaw Sa mga ito Kang Mr. Vicente Tiangron Sa New Jersey USA Hapit na rin Hapit na po na rin na natin mga walaan eh. Dahil ang nabukang ng paloyong sa atong panag-ubang sa tulmanon ang kapihan ng Sandy Polog, ang Metro Shoppers dito sa dalang ng Rizal ng itong dakbayan sa Sandy Polog. Eh, Mr. Gipalayon kita sa atong ng Undersecretary sa NAPSI, ng karong bisita na ito, si Undersecretary Atomio Rosilio Matoy Barinada. Eh, Mr. Gipalayon, lain na nagpaloy ka na ito sa panag-ubang sa tulmanon ng kapihan sa Sandy Polog, No, ang Gloria B. Daputan, Fantasy Land o Daputan Aqua Marine Park o Inatoo Lang Restaurant dito na sa Bangka. Nagpanigyan din naman ang ikaw ng second and first district congressman na nanong Los Hos. Magandang magpila ka mga nagpuloy sa itong panag-uban sa tulungan kapilang sa Dibalog. Masag Domingo na ito ng live. Dari sa itong second floor sa itong kamilawang Jaimuna, Dibalog City. Balik sa kapilang. Thank you so much, Edgar. Balik kita sa itong kapihan sa Ripolog. But before anything else, kaya itong mga bisita na pa rin ito, ito na i-promote ni, i-plug na po sa itong amigo kay ika-third year anniversary sa One TV karong June 25, 2017. Invited kita ang taga-kapihan sa Ripolog, no? Early dinner. So, congratulations on your third year anniversary sa One TV pinaagi sa manager ni ini na si Mr. Mr. Neil Vincent Gumaha dumina siya karon sa One TV dayon na ay drums and bugle battle and showdown dance contest and music and laughter from Manila the the Foxy Ladies at 6 p.m. sa Sabuanga del Norte Convention and Sports Center in line also with the 104th Adlaw sa Bitolo So, mawag na ang kalihukan sa umaabot na third year anniversary sa One TV, pinaagi ka Neil Vincent Gumahan. So, thank you so much uh, and congratulations One TV karong June 25, 2017. Balik kita sa itong mga bisita, karubutaga sa ato ang kapihan sa Lipolog. Pinaagi ka ang Undersecretary Rosario Matay Barinaga sa National Anti-Poverty Commission o gingan man kang ma'am nati bayubay ang ato ang Provincial Schools Division Superintendent. Kami din ay sa kapihan sa Dipolog, mayingon may nga, di gini siya istrikta. Friendly gini and accommodating si ma'am nati bayubay. I don't know nga no ang mga maistra ang feedback, istrikta dyan ko no si ma'am nati. So, tumatawin ni ma'am nati karoon no, nga no istrikta rin siya. Dayon, Okay, looks can be deceiving. Tanaw nila, small but terrible manggot. So, o ang pangutanan sa itong kauban sa media, nga ano ko no, nga, itlas ko no kayo, resort ko no kayo, interviewan si Ma'am Nati Bayubay, diha padaan sa gate sa DepEd, nga kuan, building, ang guardia din, ako mo sila pasudlon. So, Ma'am Nati, you have the floor, please. Ma'am Edith. Ha, 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 ha. 
uh, ang being strict comes with the territory of my work. Opo. Yung pagpasok po dyan sa opisina namin, sa aming compound, control po yan ng administrative officer, hindi po ako. Kung sino yung pinapapasok nila, sila na po ang bahala. Opo. Hindi po ako. <laughs> so, they talk to the administrative officer, Helen Tangon. Opo, kung ano yung business nila. Actually, uh, nung una talaga, I had to tell Helen na no vendors allowed. Wala talagang kasi may nakita na akong pumasok kasi hindi nga po ako may control. Kinakausap ko yung admin na pwede, bakit may nagtitinda ng gulay-gulay sa ko, kung ano-ano sa loob. This is an office. Yung gulay na bibili sa palengke, hindi po dito sa loob. So, ganun siguro na pagka-stricta, pero nasa lugar naman po. Ano pa bang pagka-stricta yung ano, yung yung mga teachers papasok ng Monday until Friday? Oo, kasi nakaugalihan na ho dito noon. Yun yung lagi kong naririnig na reklamo. Papasok daw ang teacher, bibiyahe sila ng Monday. So, magtuturo na lang ng Tuesday. Aalis sila ng Thursday or bibiyahe sila balik ng Friday. So, until Thursday ang instruction. So, ako naman, ang, ang sa akin naman sa mga teachers and anyone concerned on this, Edi eh, ilagay mo diyan sa DTR mo kung anong time ka nagturo at kailan ka umalis. Wala akong problema doon. Huwag lang talaga ng ilagay na 7 AM ng Monday eh bumibiyahe ka pa. Wala ka pa sa eskwelahan. Yung DTR would be your record of being there in your ano yung deployment mo. Opo. How about Then yung mag-develop sila ma'am ng mga official construction such as IS, pag-ibig? Meron po silang ano, meron pagka, hindi o, meron po silang ano, like, if they're from around Dipolog din naman po, na malapit lang po, meron po silang 6 hours teaching and pwede po silang mag-ask ng, ng time, uh, parang official time po, pass na hindi naman na-compromise yung kanilang teaching. Then they can transact business with GSIS, Pag-ibig and other offices na related kami. Yung far away schools coming from far away places, nakukutag ito si Polo, kasi nandito yung center, yung GSIS nandito, yung Pag-ibig nandito. So they will travel. Opo. So absent ba yun or leave or may pass? Uh, may mga activity sila where I give, ano, we, we give them service credit. Pwede ho nilang gamitin yung service credit nila. Pero they had to remember na kahit anong mangyari, that 180 instruction days is never negotiable. Kailangan nilang iserve yung 180 instruction days na bago yung mga assessment ng mga bata. Other days, like mag-attend sila ng uh, these times po, marami pong LG yung nag-request for the participation of schools in their festivals and all. I would allow that. Binibigyan ko ng oras po yon. Pero with the condition that the 180 instruction days is not compromised. So, mag-make up class nila, up necessarily. Class Opo. Okay. Ganun lang naman. Nasa yeah. regulation po namin. So, that it, it, will, uh, it will not compromise the quality of education. Yes. Also. Instruction that yes. is needed by the kids. Ngayon, sa pag, kung ano pa ba ang pagiging stricto ko, uh, after, after work, they can live their life. Yeah. Ang akin lang. <laughs> Opo. No selling of avon, no selling of chorizo Opo. during teaching, uh, oh, teaching hours. hours. Pwede, nilang, oh, pwede nilang gawin after work. Opo. Okay. Sabi ko, hindi ko po papakialaman ng buhay nyo after work. Ang, ang sa akin lang, magtrabaho lang. Pero yung isa pa na, I, we need to we need really to check yung kanilang posting sa Facebook. Yes. Na nasasabihan. One time Opo, nasasabihan. Hindi, one time po, it was summer, summer time. Eh, yung mga school head, nag-post sila nasa dadakak sila. So, Vacation. Sabi ko, nakafile ba kayo ng leave? Kasi, you should be in your schools. Teachers lang po yung walang pasok sa summer. Pero school heads po, they should be in the schools kasi ang dami pong trabaho po talaga. Opo. So, nag, may nag-post sa DACAC ng Thursday. Sabi ko, this is office time. I need you to submit your leave of absence. 
Otherwise, oh, I won. Talagang strict ka. Otherwise, I won. Ah, sir, excuse me. Na ay na ay na ay concerned si Kristen. This is the version from my wife. Okay, ako wag na sa city, but ako siguro ang tulog na ko ni. I will help mom na masabtan po siya sa upang mga teachers pa. Okay. Pero wala akong masabtan ni ma'am, ani ma'am. Murag, na-impression siguro nga istorya-istorya about you nga istrikta ka. Then, murag mo na ilang gibasi sa ilang dungog-dungog ba? Then, mo po na yung nahibawan sa akong wife. Then, akong wife po na itong higayo na kung makahinumdum ka. Na siya, ipamalihog siya ni Mrs. Loretta. Na siya yung murag itransak ba nga kinahanglan siguro sa imong firma. Eh, mo itong may-add to siya, kaya ipamalihog to akong misis. Then, yun, nakaingon siya na, Dili man, ang, ang iyang nabunggan nga, stricto mo ko, Dili man, mayo ma, ano ba? O, accommodating. So, murag ingon na na siguro, agi siguro sa istorya-istorya nga, inana ka din, munang nahulog nga, inana ka, pero, huwag ma, istorya nga di ay, Dili man, <laughs> okay. So, murag inana ba? <laughs> Ayun na. Trabaho lang po, trabaho lang po. Opo. Thank you for the enlightenment. Thank you po. Okay. Yung oh, sigma to eh. Yeah. <coughs> Kaming, you know, by, by nature itong Filipino, ang nabatag tayo tayo. Ah, ba kayo, especially among politicians anytime makasulod ka, no? All the rural politicians kami jo. Wala tagan ka agian, no? Pero usually ga ana. Pero when it comes to bureaucratic, we also have to understand the kind of. Kasi you cannot budge in the office anytime. Yes. Ah, because they have time din mo bisita o. Ganin ka nang with the advent of <laughs> telephone, no? Kanin cellphone ana. If you are from one department, like to see another one, usually you contact, diba? Check for the ban, and then, you know, okay, let me see, no, if there's an app. So, you have to, to know everything like that. So, then, you can do that, and then, you can do that, you can do that, what name, restriction to that. For instance, you can do that during office. That is not supposed to be, because you're using government's time. You're going to be on Facebook, you're going to be on Facebook. The moment you post on Facebook, it means you're using government's time. So, I think we have to adjust. Ang kanang po yung tag-stricto, tag-stricta, sa office, we understand that. Pero outside na na, don't you become, no? Ang yung pag-stricta na na, when you're out of office, di ba? Makikigit pag-iap po ka, makikigit pag-iap po ka, are you willing to hear the the problems of your staff, something like that, but it is after office. Kung dili ka, dili ka makita na, then you have to snub them. That is your strict ka. So, depende na on how you, after all, you have this human relationship, diba? And that is being taught to us. So, one thing alam, it will be on that kind of a picture. The, ang mga tao doon nga, mo impose good on what is the rules and regulations, yung sulimin tag strict ka, but actually, they are just performing, you know? Because of this government is fun, right? Okay. Yung sa office po namin, ngayon nga, sa, opo, dahil sa sitwasyon natin, we were advised na pag walang ID, wag i-recognize. Po. So, nakalagay po doon, no ID, no entry. Para sa security. Oh, security. Ngayon, with the DepEd personnel, during, from Monday to Thursday, meron po kami prescribed na uniform. No uniform, no entry. Opo. Para po... Disciplinary actions. Opo. Para po, ma-recognize ma din nila yung, yung kanilang personality. The, the person re they're presenting when they come to the office. Na ako, teacher ako. Opo. 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 Okay. You say, Matoy, Barinaga. That was gano'n lang. No, no ID, no entry. Kapag yun ah. No smile, no entry. <laughs> Service with a smile. Yes. 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 Yes.
Ngayon nagre-reklamo dahil they had to walk down that far. Sabi ko ngayon, maintindihan niyo po ba yung aking frustration when I get to a school and nothing is happening? Because these children have traveled, they have risked their lives crossing creeks, rivers, and whatnot. Yung uh, accident, yung mga kagat sila ng mga wild... Uh, Opo, oh mahulog po sila. Tapos pagdating nila sa eskwalahan, hindi ready yung teacher. Walang naituro. So, anong klaseng frustration ng bata? Yung investment nila that day, yung life nila was invested to learning that day, nothing happened. So, yun po yung frustration ko po. Opo, sana po tulungan po, ni, sana teachers would come to understand really na as much as they were deployed to that place, they are supposed to be the catalyst for the change that is needed there in the place. Uh, so, uh, parang service na nila kay God yun. Yun yung kanilang, that's how they pay back the blessing of work that was given them by really serving from the heart. Ang, ang inaalala ko din sa mga teachers, we are so worried of the instructional materials that is so much at this time with the K-12. Kako, those instructional materials would be pointless if you cannot appreciate from your heart what the kid needs. Maybe that day, the kid doesn't need to be taught this and that. What about an understanding person for the for what is the, what the kid is going through? Muna, bago kayo magturo, kasi yun yung, yun yung barrier ngayon sa learning eh, when the kid is not really ready for what is to be learned, as much as they have a battle in themselves, na they need to conquer. Opo, lalo na pag ang teacher hindi din ready, yun po yung aking sitwasyon po. Kung okay. bakit minsan sabi nila, stick to ako masyado. Minsan lang. Minsan lang. Okay. Hindi always, yes. Okay. Dito tayo kay Yusik Matoy Barinaga, dahil we are running out of time. Uh, is it a blessing na nandyan ka sa NAPSI para ma-elevated naman yung poorest uh, province ng Sambuanga del Norte? Hindi naman tingnan yung blessing kay eh. anybody can do the work. But, 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 might even better than I'm doing, you know. Ang um, kwan uh, we can monitor. I can be a messenger in all of this. So, more of a thing alone akong role. And then, what the process? Okay. Atong, then, sa Buwanga del Norte, uh, number one, we should be proactive. Okay. Uh, we cannot help unless we do not know what is to be helped. Okay. So, uh, number one is pinpoint how many poor you have in your community. Uh, poor, Anna. And then, if you have this uh, group already, then you can access the other uh, department. For instance, you like to have NAPSI. NAPSI can have the capability building, social preparation, and things like that. So that before you can do it, you can uh, get some funding, you got to have this kind of tools with you. you know? So even among the teachers, those who are considered to be poor and what they need, you know, we can come in. Because there are two, there are two uh, projects that we can avail of. Number one, uh, small financing, we, we can have that. Oh. Uh, that is under us, the BDTF funding. Uh, so we can train, we can have the building, so you can come up with your own uh, negotiation or whatever. No? And second, about farmers, because the people still be with the uh, debt head, because if the farmers have nothing in the pocket, they can send their children. No? There are programs sa mga farmers. No? For instance, uh, small farmers, they can, uh, they can apply for a loan which is collateral free, collateral, collateral free, no? So, pwede ka rin mo, sir. But then, tan abutan na po sa record, it is sad, sad to note sometimes, ato sa, sa Mindanao, no? Agamay rata, mostly to us sa Central Luzon. In fact, we, when we sit, I am part of the governing body, sige uh, lang get structure, payment, <laughs> no? Then, wala dito sa ato, ah. But we need na mga mechanism. Uh, we hope that our people, uh, of course, we are tying up with the local government no? uh, to identify all this, so, so that we can access. No? We cannot, kami God, we cannot say, money mong buhaton, we cannot do that. No? It should come from you, from you. And then, sa kwan pa, nakalist or ch a ch change agent lang ni, no? I mean, just like the education. So, we need something. But at our own, we can also go to other barangays and then tell them, Pila ka mo kayo mo Then after that, the question should be asked, Unsa mo nagkaroon? Diba ha? Unsa mo nagkaroon? Unsa mo gusto na itong buhaton? Okay. Diba? Tanong mo na yung pangatana. Second, 
Ah, once about to button. Ah, how can you access? That's how much pain on. Just three basic questions. Ah, uh, on that. I think they can and just for can handle that. It should come uh, delivered below. Kau di mana kau pin point tu tu saya mau. Should be. We do that. We can because ah, uh, uh, it's not not ah uh, cakut tak ayoh uh, baklan. No, in terms of so population, so pen pen uh, region. I mean, to, Peninsula, no, sa region nine, we are the biggest population. Then are they? Oh, so far. And then, of course, we are number seven for the rest. So the lots of things before. Shayan uh, was the poorest uh, municipality. Karon they graduated, okay, nawala. But then creating three municipalities, mana pun the poorest, no? Okay, oh. Uh, yung mga beligan tayo something like that. Oh, I don't know. Then the, oh, the least populated uh, municipalities, lalo ba tat? Okay, region, ano ba? Mucha. Mucha, oh, mucha. Oh, ah, least populated. <laughs> most, most populated barangays, <laughs> most populated barangays are all in Sambuanga City. Uh, I mean, you have the record that. Now, why, why is record important? That is where you can formulate your policy, your anano, mga program ni mo. You need, you need to have basic on this. Okay. Natay pa nahon. Last week lang. Brief lang po. Question from each other. Okay. Ako lang sa question from mga mga mga. We have read it. We have read it movements. We have read it movements sa mga division superintendent. Epiktado ba ang province? Movements ng mga division superintendent? Ito ko na text. I may text. Oo. Ano po, uh, meron talagang policy na wala naman pong, hindi naman pong, walang permanente. Pero ang order po would come from the secretary. Uh, um, Mandit, ako na? Okay. A question po naman natin, ma'am, na like uh, parent na naglibog ba nga, gusto siya nga makasabot atong mag, uh, implementation sa native, a uh, mother tongue versus sa English. Kaya unsaon daw, muro bag conflict. And then, on sa po intervention nga palitan, grade 2, uh, grade 3, grade 4, nga di pa yun siya ka speak English. Anya, na, nakasaka na siya na nga grade. Ah, uh, yes. On sa ba daw tabang or, or program or intervention? Opo, yung mother tongue as, an, as, the, as a medium of instruction sa kinder at saka grade 1. But then, middle of grade 1, may mga additional subjects na po sila. So, hindi, na, hindi siya medium of instruction. Subject po siya. Ituturo po siya na parang pagturo ng English at saka Filipino. So, hindi po mako-compromise yung learning nila ng English. Kasi in English po at saka Filipino yung medium of instruction from grade 3 up to grade 12 or college event, medium of instruction. Generally, English po siya. Hindi ko po, yun nga po yung naging problema namin. Nagka-translate ang teacher to Bisaya. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, there's the text. Last question, ma'am, before parting words in you. Uh, there is the uh, resolution coming from the Sangurian Pradawigan at Sabuanga del Norte and the letter from Governor Roberto Uy that uh, you are uh, requested to be retained, both of you. Ma'am Lord, mapukulan niyo in Sabuanga del Norte because of your exemplary uh, exemplary performance here in the province of Sabuanga del Norte regarding our education. Uh, comment on that, ma'am. Uh, but in one time kasi, the, gov the governor was visited by, I mean, last Monday, the governor was visited by the regional director, Director Bores. Uh, informing the director that I will be taken out of Sambuanga del Norte. So the, the governor clarified to me kung ano ba talaga yung policy. Sabi ko, indeed there's a policy for movement of uh, the, those at the third level position. But then, if uh, the, the director is saying I will be taken, moved out because I shall be promoted, I, I had to disagree because promotion in my case parang ano lang ba siya semantics lang siya because I am functioning as SDS opo parang ASDS ang aking position but I am functioning as SDS so hindi po siya yung ganun na from ASDS mag-a-out daw ako to another division to be SDS 
Kasi ako po yung SDS na naka, nakaupo. So, I can get my promotion where I am. Tap, yun naman ang sabi ko kay governor kasi nag-verify siya. Then he told me na I needed to stay longer because I have lots of projects. That's na true. He needed, uh, we, have par, uh, we have partnered on like yung extension schools, yung don't how sa damgo, tapos ALS projects. So, sabi niya, for continu- continuity, sabi ko, I can really still stay. Kasi five years man dapat, yung aming ten years. So, from my appointment as ASDS in 2015, five years. Five years, They should yes. count five years. Okay. Pero, sa tingin ko, an- Comment? Yosek Matoy? Marinaga? Kaya ako, trabaho uh, lang po talaga. Where I am needed, I go. Yeah, uh, you know, sometimes, uh, up, no, we do not know what So, congressman and governor and local government can have also a very effective way of uh, having retained. You know, because who is most concerned in the localities? Yeah. It is congressman, this is yeah. governor. No, yeah. it's not from up. No? Yes. So, uh, they do not know anything probably from my what should suit suit to land it all. So, you know, in the general situation, it's the congressman, the governor, the mayor. No? And I think, uh, uh, I know personally, You should be here forever, ma'am. That's an action. That's an action. Yes, a palangkas. Meron forever pala kay, ano, kay Yusek. Pero ang akin naman talaga, ay, wala akong regret kung ano man po ang mangyayari. I have given my best to Sambuanga del Norte. Kung may, dapat siguro mapuna nga po sa akin. They're telling me I'm very strict. But then, at times, we really need to concentrate on the job first before anything else. Opo. Ang akin, yung mga ba, bago ako mag, mag say thank you. Parting words. Thank you po for the retention sa lahat po nung nag-appreciate kung ano po yung aking ginagawa. Kailangan ko pa din yung kanilang support kasi we have implemented this big project. Itong Lunhaw Nga Damgo. Lunhaw Nga Damgo. A green, like green forest. Within. Opo. 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 We have lo- Opo. Yung Forest within, we're living within a forest. Na we can really be productive or, I don't know, despite of uh, where we are. At saka necessary ka ako na yung mga bata, they get ecological consciousness. Kasi part po ng aming curriculum. Opo, okay. makakalikasan. Meron po. Okay. Before we will be cut off from the, our air time, parting words coming from Nabi Bayubay, please, and then you, Sikmatoy Barinaka. Thank you so much. Sa lahat po ng stakeholders ng Sambuanga del Norte, wag po kayong magsawa na mag-support sa aming mga programs kasi po, para po sa inyong mga bata, I had to tell you again that it is easier to build stronger children than to repair broken men. Opo. Marami po kami program like we have our ALS Alive, Enhanced ALS Alive to address yung etong out of school youth uh, some among our Muslim brothers. This has received recognition already. Central office is looking into this because it is only in Sambuanga del Norte where this is uh, implemented. Papo. Thank you so much and good morning again. Thank you so much, Ma'am Nati Bayuba. You say, Atone Rosilio Matoy Barinaga. Maraming salamat po sa itong programa, no? Especially sa itong guest blog si Ma'am Bayuba. Ngayon ba, sa NAPSI naman, uh, we would like to engage more, no? Uh, Katong mga sector na gusto pa doon makibalog ang saan ng NAPSI, I am willing to, uh, to square them off. <laughs> Ngayon, ganun yung parting words lang, o sa ka-storya. Ang Pilipinos, atong sudyante ma'am, is not, are really bright, no? even in the Falk Lang Barangay. Then this happened, one time sa classroom, mga grade 14 nga ito, grade 5, uh, yung mga maestra nga, before we will ano, dismiss, kinahanglan nga, ang um, kinsay makatubag, may ulang magawa. Diba? Ano? Oh, sige. Pag humana na, yung ulang maestra, yung talikod siya, sulat-sulat siya. Si Pedro, uh, regular nga ha, oh, Pedro God, no? Buta niya yan, tuan, backpack doon sa, tuan, sa, sa sa dito sa doro pag tanaw sa kakisa mo niya ako na ma'am ako na sa'yo na that is not right so there is always hope even in your individual balangay thank you very much iyo sa sandali po pahabol po education is the only solution out of poverty so invest in education thank you so much very well said mga api bayo boy you say Tony Rosilio Matubalaga dahil sa mga 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 panelist 
Sir Robert Pinso, Edgar Saronda, si Pon Sroda, Kaoba, ni Silbert, Adiatico Don Diano, usab si Spinalis itong live streaming www.imindipolog.pb.com Click mo sa Kapiyansa Dipolog sa YouTube na dito na na ito edition sa Kapiyansa Dipolog Kaoban sa itong mga guests Dayon, si Taxi Lung Barang Hanggang Salamat sa Imolten News Broadcast sa DXDR 981 AM man sa 94.1 IFM Dayon, next Sunday in GCP itong bisita Ah... Uh, Dagan salamat dito ni Danny Lord sa estasyon, pinagi sa itong station manager na si Mr. Edgar Dagumo na bago lang na-blessing dito sa Radio Mindanao Network Broadcast Center. To God be all the glory, kini sa Edith, pahinti ito mong inyong regular anchor and house sa Kapiyan sa Lipolog. Ngayon kanin niyo, happy Sunday. God bless us all. Studio, take it away.